Well, if you're planning on driving along Highway 95, you should know it's closed again south of Riggins. This after that massive rock slide that hit last Friday. Crews are still working to clear it, but the slide and the resulting road blockage is causing a lot of headaches for businesses in that area. Our Shira Matsuzawa is here now with a look at the impact that the slide is having on a place that really counts on visitors from that beautiful river during the summer. Shira? That's right, Mark. You know, I spoke with two rafting outfitters today, and it's businesses like those that rely heavily on tourists every year around this time. But not only are they dealing with the pandemic, they're now being affected by that rock slide. All right, paddles ready? Rafters floating down the Salmon River is what typically greets visitors in Riggins around this time of year. But this year has been a bit slower. It's been quiet. I mean, we've we had a lot of cancellations um, coming from the south. Matt Lane is the owner of Wild River Adventures. He's been in business for 11 years. But this year, the pandemic has him treading rough and unknown waters. And I uh, book some trips and, and then cancel some trips and then book some trips and cancel some trips. It's, it's been kind of a <laughs> not the best year to own, a, own your own business. Mark Christensen is the owner and operator of Salmon River Experience in Riggins. He understands exactly what Matt is experiencing. This year has been an interesting one overall. We're, we're, we're not even looking to hit a home run. We're looking to pay the mortgage this year and hopefully be able to operate next year. Now add a massive rock slide. Two steps forward, three steps back. And another big hiccup in the travel side of it. Last Friday, this rock slide shut down Highway 95 right before the 4th of July weekend and right before what is typically a busy time for rafting. On the rafting side, a lot of the people we really tried to make it work with, we didn't get any walk-in business, which we normally would. And then I know overall in town, the restaurants and the grocery store all did maybe a tenth of the business they would normally do for that weekend. Christensen says since the pandemic, they've been getting by with business from people who are within a four-hour traveling range. But the recent rock slide is blocking his business in more ways than one. Riggins is kind of at that point where we've canceled all of our major events for the whole season and tourism is a big part of our economy's lifeblood here. So whatever we can get that works, we really need to keep people that are coming up, whether they're coming with my company or uh, just coming up to sightsee, if they're going with another company or whatever, just, just keep coming. We'll deal with the delays. Uh, our, you know, our pocketbooks can't take any more, any more damage, you know, too. So just, you know, if you got a trip book, work with us. We're willing to work with people, even if it means picking them up on the other side of the road closure or coaching them through getting here.